Welcome back to part two of Dale's versus the YouTube big dog, Rick Shields. Rick is a one-up. That was intense. It is. Oh, that yeah. was intense intro. If you, if you haven't seen it, links down below. If you haven't seen part one, get over there and watch part one first. Uh, Rick, how Watch an amazing par putt, some stellar golf early on, and I did a birdie dance, <laughs> yeah. which I didn't think I was going to do. <laughs> so if you want to go and watch that, yeah. part one, hopefully we'll get more birdie dances yeah. this part. Exactly right. You two, throw first. The par four, it sweeps round to the right. You want to hit a tee shot that kind of goes about 220 to 240, and ideally slightly hugging the right side of the fairway. It opens up the green. Got you. This is another mega hole. Lovely. Not there. Plunktastic. Didn't see a drop. I've never been over there, so I don't really know what's. <laughs> it's a long shot in yeah, that way. Here we go. Yeah. Whoa! Literally perfect. Nice easy one that one, not it? Don't bother hitting Ange. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh yeah boy! Let's go. Let's go. Come on, he's just, not just in case. <laughs> just do it. Just in case it's blocked out by the better when I don't hit it. Oh two right? Yep. Dad. We don't need to show that one anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so Rick, a big part of your channel is uh, reviewing golf clubs. Yeah. And uh, you're honest, and I suppose that's why everyone watches it and respects you. But do you feel bad sometimes when you get a product and it is proper naff, and you've got to say it's proper naff? Is it um, hard to bring yourself to say it? No, not anymore. No. You know, <laughs> I think it's a bit more constructive than that as well. No, I know that. I know, <laughs> this is useless. See you later, no, video done. Uh, what I'm saying is, like, a club company comes to you and go, Rick, please, can you do our new driver? And you use it, and it's. You know, you, you do say things aren't great, yeah. don't you? Yeah. I'll certainly say, it, it depends. If I value maybe who it's aimed at. So for example, I tested like a slice driver, right? And uh, the branding, it was a Callaway, and the branding was anti-slice. It's gonna fix your slice. Like it was very, very heavy on the marketing. And I tested it and went, I can still slice it. <laughs> right. I'm gonna show you I can still slice yeah. it, I did. And for that example, I knew it wouldn't suit me as much. So I did my kind of mini review and I actually brought somebody on who was a proper slicer. Yeah. And guess what? They still sliced it. Right. So it was, it was almost that like going, well, hold on. You, you're telling me, it's almost questioning the marketing. Like the product, not, not many companies make bad product now. Mm. Really, they yeah. don't. It's when they market it and that annoys me. If they market it in a way that's like yeah. promising too much yeah. and it doesn't deliver on that promise because the clubs aren't magic tools, <laughs> do you know no, what I mean? Yeah. There's only limitations to it. So I like questioning the the, um, the claims right. more than I do actually experimenting the club. Like if a club came out with no claims, it wouldn't be much of a story, but it'd just be a club. Right. But when it's a club saying, yeah. this is going to go this much further, it's going to go this much straighter, it's going to swing it faster, it's going to hit the ball further, it's going to hit the ball, the, the ball's going to come off faster, okay. Let's see if that's the case. And if it's not, I'll say it doesn't. It doesn't yeah. work. That club said it was going to be faster and it's not faster. Therefore, it does not say what the company says it does. So I think that's kind of the angle on it. And then there's other things like, I might not like the look of a colour of a yeah. club, but you might do. And that's, that's okay. That's Different opinion based. Opinions, yeah. And I'll give that opinion and go, I'm not the biggest fan of this colour, but other people will be. Or I'm not the biggest fan of the sound, but some people will be. Or whatever it may be. But when it's it's the claims that I like to question, because yeah. that's where you can really pick a company and go, you're talking. What's, what's the biggest? Yes, there. It's <laughs> not what's really. the biggest claim on a club or a product that you've gone? Actually, that works. That works. Like a certain type of ball or. Oh yeah, yeah. So, so triple. You thought track. it was garbage, and you actually know. Not so much garbage, but I, uh, as soon as I saw the clay, the Callaway brought out triple track the ball, yeah, yeah. the three stripes, and then they brought out putter that complemented it. Mm. And as much, I didn't claim it as being garbage, I, I knew it would kind of work straight away, I yeah. must admit. There's probably not been that many that have shocked me, yeah. that have gone, 
Because well, yeah. if they say it's going to work, it should work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's true. Yeah. You, know, you know what I mean? It's, yeah. There's not many that have gone, oh my God, that's outrageously yeah. better than the claim because they're not really that yeah. often. Um, you know, sometimes you can get, a, the ones that do impress me, let's say it's a lower priced set of clubs mm. and they're actually really good. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That, yeah. that, that's quite a good story. Or if it's a lower priced golf ball, but it still feels good, it still flies well. well the, the Costco Callaway ones. Perfect, and you were like, yeah. wow, these, yeah, and, these and really work. They were just a, a buy products of going into Costco and selling cheap. And yeah. the test them was like, you know what, for someone starting golf, is bloody perfect, right. like literally perfect. So probably those ones I was ready to rinse. Yeah. And actually they were really good. So you get, but there was no claims to that. There was just, yeah. that's a box set. Sold the scene. My okay. own perception of a box set probably needed to change. You okay. can imagine the manufacturer though, uh, the, the make of it, all just sat there going, <laughs> I always yes, think yes, that. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. Well, like no, you yeah. sit around, Rick's done a review. Yeah, like, here we go. Yeah. Like, Come on! Yeah. The, the good thing is that, like, I don't care. Like, yeah. in that, in that, yeah, you got I, I quite like that now. Yeah. Like, and if they don't send me products, brilliant. Yeah. Because yeah. I'll buy it. Yeah. And, and, you know, we'll even, you know, not be more honest because we're already honest, but yeah. if a company doesn't send me product, don't worry. Yeah. We'll still get it elsewhere. We'll get it elsewhere and we'll review it eventually. So, I've, I have relation, like working professional relationships with brands. They give me the product, they tell me what it's all about, and then they step away. And, you and I go, work. okay, yeah. let's, let's get to work. Let's see what it's yeah. all about. Don't, don't, want, don't want to force things down your neck to say when you know they're not going to say anyway. And, and over the years, they used to be very, oh, like really trying to lay it on thick, but they've become a bit more used to it now and gone, yeah. we're just going to tell you what, what we're saying. Mm. If it was in America, it'd be a different story, I think. Oh, cool. Because yeah. the Americans yeah. really big it by, like, yeah, yeah. you oh, know, yeah. like, like yeah. I've no offense to American no, no. viewers. No, no. When the fact that their marketing would be so much like, this, this club is bad. big, it's yeah. big, like a bit yeah. PXG, PXG yeah. almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. a brand I love like testing, because again, their claims are just outrageous. Yeah. Do you like their stuff? Some of it is okay. Yeah. I just don't understand their pricing structure at all. They went super expensive, which I kind of respected. Yeah. And I kind of got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then they came cheap. And I'm like, which one? Now, what, what are you now? That, yeah. yeah. You're not exclusive and the identity's gone yeah you're yeah. not exclusive and, and, and almost a desirable product now you're the same as everyone else yeah what is it now what's the x factor now and yeah. how can you still send sell, sell an 800 pound driver and the 350 pound driver at the same time yeah. <laughs> That's That's kind of sense, is it? yeah right gents i'm not gonna lie to you i've never been here i feel like the amateur right now because you are in a1 position and i am not this is the massive water we've got to get over. The, the pin is actually just tucked behind that tree from here. So how are you going to play this then? I mean, obviously, scratch golf. Are you going to just, are you going for green? You're going yeah, for... a little bit of hit and hope. Yeah. No, okay. I'm joking. And 190, for me, it's set up okay. Yeah. I'm not too worried about the water. Just get a good strike, right. I think. Oh, it's a bit right. Draw! Turn, turn over. It's trying. Shot. On the green or? I think it's Slightly off, it. off, I think. Slightly off. It tried to have a go, it kicked it. As long it. as I'm putting. Not bad, mate. It's not bad <laughs> at I'm all. I'm all right. Oh, he's playing a hole. He's playing a hole. Get going. Get going. We on? No, it's rolled. Just Stop. on the front. Stop. Not oh. on the front of the green, just on the front of the like, Thanks approach. Thanks for telling me to go higher. Jesus. A lot longer than it looks Wow. Out to in, follow through. Into out. Oh. That's going to be money. Oh. Yeah, that's super close. Oh. Yeah. Off shot. <laughs> I'm going to charge you for that. If, you don't, if you don't watch Rick's channel, he's pretty good at teaching golf. Yeah, go, he's get over there. him off yeah. camera and he's just absolutely zing one up there. <laughs> okay, somehow I've hit one and a half clubs too many and I've flown this green. The lads are stiff. They've got a birdie opportunity. I've got to really get a close one in here to put some pressure on. It's not the easiest shot in the world though for me. Looks good. Oh, looks good. Oh, pressure. The pressure Come is on. That's pressure. Come on, lads, birdie. Oh. Even I'll join in <laughs> and see if you hold this. As much as it'll spite me because you'll win the hole. Come on. Rick's done a birdie. The Dale boys need to do a birdie. Do, 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 do. Oh, no. I like, I like the, 
I like the kind of early jingle that you get going on. <laughs> <laughs> Not as far right. You're in for par. Come on. This could go off. Oh, oh no! In the middle. Shame, lad. Drag. If he had another brother, he'd probably go in. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly adopt someone. Yeah, exactly. Oh! That looks in all the way. Ooh. One all. Nasty. Nasty. One all. Nil, nil, with three to play. Seventh hole in our match, which is the ninth hole here at the Marriott, par three. Another monster green. Now, we're quite fortunate here because the pin's front right, so it is playing much shorter. I mean, this has got the capabilities of playing 40 yards longer. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. So currently it's 166 to the flag. Tiny, tiny bit into breeze, but that, that's as much as you need to know. Apart from that, aim and fire. Oh, come round, come round. Left, right, I've got a bit got a bit of that. It's miles as well. Yeah. Oh you t there. T and up up steps are rich. Oh. Somewhere between those two. <laughs> <laughs> Any abuse is welcome with those two, they were awful. I was saying that though, you've made some Epic up and downs in your time, so I still mm. need to feel that fire at the flag. Oh, look at, the, look at the shape on that. Travel! Travel five shape yards, that's good. Oh! Short? It's a bit short. Yeah, it's rolling down. Rick, if no one's seen your channel, which I've said before, everyone probably has, and you could show them one video you've done mm. to sell it, what are you showing them? That's a, that's a bloody good question, actually. Would it be one uh, specific video or like a genre of no, like one a specific, coaching one? No, or one, video. Or a, okay. one video. I had, I had one to video, actually do only. this recently for um, YouTube. So YouTube were putting like a show reel together and they asked me a similar question. It took me ages. I've got nearly 2,000 videos on my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. wow. So it's quite a catalogue. Yeah. Now I must admit, you could probably cancel 75% of them out because they <laughs> weren't that great when I look back at them. Yeah. Are they not? Just evolution in it. Yeah, yeah, do, do, yeah, do you yeah I've got to look back. Bit, yeah, but never. I look back at old videos and, and, and like them because I'm linking, I remember that. Being yeah. nostalgia. Yeah, I remember, yeah, oh my God, do you remember when we used to film on that camera? And do you yeah. remember when I, I used to edit it myself and oh my God, how bad's that now? And how bad's yeah. the audio or the lighting or whatever? Yeah. But yeah. Then I still remember like, but look at that shot that I hit. And do you remember when we played there? And mm. so, you know, there's, there's different ways I look back at old videos and really like them. But I'll tell you what, the one that for me, I think really captivates the channel. And if I was to show anyone one chat, one video, it'd actually be the, the million video we released last year. Yeah. yeah. And the reason being, we've got loads of fun videos, loads of coaching videos. And I could say like my most viewed video is like when I collaborated with Dude Perfect, which was mega. Yeah. yeah. But the one for me, the left, we, for a million, we want to try and do something different that kind of celebrates it. And I actually played nine holes left-handed. So yeah, yeah. Completely left-handed. Yeah. And played shocking yeah. and laughed yeah. and joked and messed about and thanked the audience for watching. And mm. that kind of video for me, people would have watched it and found it funny and found it relatable where yeah. like I made an eight up the first and because yeah. I was trying to play left-handed yeah. and I almost showed how hard golf is, yeah. but how much you can still have fun. Mm. So for me, that video really kind of captivated the essence of the channel where it's, it's entertaining mm. And it's still somewhat educational, that video. Yeah. I can show you, okay, I've, I've played badly there, but I'm laughing or I'm joking or yeah, yeah. this shot feels easy or this, I'm gonna show you how I'd play this shot left-handed and yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. So for me, it, it kind of brings everything in. I always feel like I wanna make videos that uh, educate and entertain golfers yeah. and even just people in, around the world. Mm. 
So if I can educate and entertain, I've, uh, that's a good video for yeah. me. And that kind of did both. It probably slightly more on the entertainment side, mm. but then there's just, there's loads. I love testing some of these wacky clubs, the swingless golf club. I that love doing cool. collaborations with people. Yeah. You know, the list, I, you know, I could easily put a top 10 together, but if I was to put one, it'd be that. Cause I, I got time to thank my team. I got, yeah. time, to, got time to thank the audience for yeah. watching. Um, it's more about everyone else rather than, than, than you. It doing felt like a community. Yeah, yeah. Cause last year when that's we were trying to get about. to a million, once we hit about 900,000 subscribers, because there was no, we weren't guaranteed to hit a million last year in 2020 with everything going on as well. Yeah, I never thought yeah. we'd hit it. And as soon as we started to get close, the community just went, come on, let's go, Boom, yeah. let's do this. And it just skyrocketed. So that was kind of a, a real coming together of everything that had gone behind the channel and everything. So yeah. if I was to pick one, that was probably the one I'd pick. Well, watch watch it. it, link down below. <laughs> link yeah. down below. Right then, legends. Gone with my ball, as always, gone a bit left. But it's sitting all right, isn't it? Yeah, it's all right, I think. Just need to flick it down a little bit left to right. Yeah. Right, let's go. Come on. We're well in this. Yes, yes. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yes, Brewski. Little low, Jason. that nope my ball this actually would be one that i wouldn't mind chipping but still my better putts still better than my better chip my bad chip rick's going putter again it's the percentage shot isn't it Oh, it's nice. Not a bad effort. It's nice. Ah, right. A little bit of, little bit of meat left on that bone. Ooh. This could be the biggest upset of the season. This could be. <laughs> You've had Leicester winning the FA Cup, <laughs> Chelsea winning the Champions League. And how good was that? And potentially. <laughs> Dale's having a home, <laughs> having an away victory. <laughs> Never in doubt. Oh. Lips in. Lips in. We like the fins. Oh. Off oh, we go. Square. Two to play. Tenth hole, par four. Slight sweeping dog leg to the right. There's two bunkers that are really well placed on this hole. One to the right, one to the left. Just a, a, a nice, accurate tee shot that carries those, obviously, or, or lay it up back. Oh, oh yes. Yes! Come on! I think I'm good, bruv. I think we'll, you we'll good, play, yeah? Yeah, we'll play yours. I'll, I'll, is that good, do you reckon? perfect. I'm not going to do better than that. That is perfect. Hey, Mr Shields ain't sure, Ange. You've got a shot. If you want 250 yards left into the green, then that's perfect. <laughs> 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 Oh, <laughs> flame See boy! See you in a bit. Wow. Yeah. What a strike. Top of that mount. Well, Andy, big Ange. Whilst, okay. whilst Rick's here, whilst Rick's here, driver, hit a driver. They can help you. I don't, what's that, the point? Because, imagine how far you could hit a driver. I've only just bought these AVXs. Like, just <laughs> come on. Just, <laughs> they're, not, they're not cheap. Not a lesson, just like, come on, we need to get you. Okay. The, the, the only deal with me hit a driver is, it, is, if, is if Rick Shields tells me how to hit a driver, come on. Okay, well, for you, you've got to get this feeling that you're hitting the inside of the ball still. Yeah. So when you set up to the ball, this time for me, the reason why driver gets more complicated, because the ball position goes further forward, naturally your shoulders start aiming left. You don't want that. Okay. So I want you to get this feeling that your right shoulder's going back and slightly down. So almost sort of lifting up on it. It feels like, like you're tilted. Okay. okay. So, so, like, feel, so you're more behind the goal. Is my head position so all right, or do I? Here, we want a little bit of tilt in the body. Like we want that tilt. When the ball position goes further forward, naturally you want to try and get your chest over the ball and that's not what we want to do with driver. Okay. So for you, just so the feet position's all right. Perfect. Little bit of tilt here, little bit of tilt there, okay. just a fraction. So forward and right down a bit. And then get the feeling you're hitting the inside of the golf ball. 
Just wait a second there. Just drop that right shoulder back a fraction okay. more. Don't let it sneak. Better. One sec, even more there. See how your shoulder, like, feel, it'll feel unnatural that your cool. shoulders are going this Starting way. Starting to cramp up. Okay, keep it there, keep it there, keep it there, keep it there, keep it there. Yeah. Yeah, and then hit the inside of the golf ball. Oh no. Just your shoulders are still wanting to creep left. Come on, give me one more. One more. Come on, we can do it. Someone on the comments, Rick, said to me, he said, stop using those pink tees. You've got to go higher with the driver. Oh, no, really. no that's rubbish. Fine. Rubbish, right? Feel like you launch it on the way up, up okay. right, like that way. Okay. Keep the tilt, keep the tilt, keep the tilt. Oh yeah, babe, my God. That was absolutely crazy. That's massive. I mean, that's, that's better, isn't it? That's it's still left. You've still got to feel like you're doing it more. Yeah. But that was uh, outrageously it, it, better. It felt a lot, a go. lot better. Weirdly, unnaturally natural. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so it was unnatural at the start, but when the follow through, it felt, it felt like it, it was doing it, yeah. Doing its job. Rick Shield. Well, that's that then. There you go. Thank you very much. Have a tip. Rick, best golfer. Best golfer you play with, as in standard, funny, all round, nice, nice chap. It's really interesting. So my answer, only before last weekend, oh, okay. was Hasse Natakocha. Okay? Yeah. LPJ player. Yeah. I played with her at the um, Royal Lytham Ladies Pro-Am. Yeah. And I said after I played with her, she was the most impressive golfer I've ever really? played with, right? She was slight build. Yeah. Um, didn't didn't make a, a mistake. Really? Just laser. Just the most accurate, consistent, mind-blowing talent I've yeah. ever seen. That's and it's someone like I've played with some amazing players, don't go wrong. Course. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Westwood, Tommy Fleetwood, Tommy Fleetwood yeah. um, Padre Harrington, Beef, Matt Wallace. I'm sure I've missed yeah, you as well. Yeah, like a lot of really, really good players. So NASA Articulture was my, was my go-to, right? Yeah. Last weekend, we went up to St Andrews and we filmed a new video, which I don't know whether it's out yet yeah. or not. If it is, go and watch it. If it isn't, go and watch it off us. Played with a young lad, 22-year-old yeah. from Australia, yeah. called Min Wu Lee, yeah. okay? European tour player. Yeah. Now, when I've played with really good players, if they hit a shot, I look at it and I'm, I'm impressed, but I think to myself, Give me 10 chances I can hit that shot. Right. Give, I, I'm not going to do it straight away, yeah, but yeah, I, yeah. I think I can do what you've just done as yeah. a tour player. Yeah. Not straight away, but give me some time. He played some golf shots last week. I honestly looked at him and said, I can't do that shot. Not in your arsenal. I can't do it. Yeah, yeah. And there were so many. Like length off the tee, wedge play, yeah. ball flight control. And, I, and it doesn't matter, I could stand there all day and yeah. the shots that he was hitting around St Andrews, Except I can't hit. So he now has gone into my new, the most impressive player. And he's young, I think he's got huge potential. Um, you know, it, hopefully, a couple, year? of years, yeah, a couple of years, yeah, a couple of years. Right, okay. He's already won. He, won, he won in Perth in Australia, that's where he's from. Uh, Victoria, sorry, Victoria yeah. in Australia, that's where he won, he's from Perth. Wow. Um, unbelievable, and his sister, yeah. He's on the LPGA and she's just won again this weekend. I think she's won like eight times. So the family is just <laughs> <Our> ridiculous. Family. <laughs> but honestly, I think in a couple of years, Min Wu Lee, I'm going to tip it now. Yeah. I so hope he's Remember the star of the name. future. Remember because I, I do think he's got the potential. He really has. He was unbelievable. Well, if you called it and you played those, those lists you just mentioned, <laughs> and then he's obviously going to be all right. And those players are phenomenal. Don't get me wrong. Like I, I have such a respect for tour yeah. players. It's, it's unreal. Yeah. I really do. But he just did some stuff this weekend when we, I was with him at St Andrews that I was like, that's yeah. that's seriously yeah. good. I bet probably Tubes have seen it or you've seen it yeah, with footballers. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, there'll be footballers that think, oh, you're a good football, but I could probably do what you do. But then there'll be footballers that are just like, it's, it's way like, it's, above. It is exactly the same as golf. Like, we've played in loads of sort of like Wembley games and stuff of ex pros, and they're ex pros. They're out, they've been out for a couple of years. And you watch them play, and Pete played an all right standard. I was all right, never really took it that seriously. And you just think, Never, never, ever will I ever get to that standard, yeah. even now, and they retire. Yeah. Like elite Premier League Championship footballers are just. 
but then yeah, there'll even be a level on top of that, won't there? Yeah. That's like your Messi's, your Ronaldo's, yeah. your, your Skulls's yeah. that are just like different again. Exactly. Like Rooney it? coming in 17 years, 16 years yeah. old and being that good. It, it, you don't get that. No. That doesn't come around no. a bit like Lee. You don't, see, you don't see that on Sunday, <laughs> Sunday morning, <laughs> do you? <laughs> Crunch. <laughs> Oh, is it, the, is it a good ball again, though? Yeah, should be, should be dancing. Yeah, yeah, should be dancing yes. just. I'm a dance, 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 dance machine. Come on, bro. <laughs> oh, baby. Uh -huh. We That's like it. Shot. Should be all right. We like it. Stay in there, isn't it? I think, yeah. you, I think you're closer, though. Just right, talk us through it. It's not where you want to be. I'm not going to lie to you. It's not in a bunker. It's in like a, just a grass bunker, basically. <laughs> would it? Would it have been a bunker? I think it was back in yeah. the day. The old heritage, hundreds of years ago. <laughs> so about like 20 years old, of course. But I think it was a bunker. <laughs> uh, 140 to the flag. So I'm, luckily, I'm not hitting a lot. I'm hitting quite a lot of loft. Uh, I'm going to go nine iron. So I think that's going to shoot it up in the air a fraction more. So how would you play this, Rick? Would you, would you, I mean, most people like me would probably scoop underneath it. Would you slam one into the bank? If you come around this side, I can show yeah. the camera a little bit from here. So I think the mistake a lot of golfers make when they're on a slope like this, they'll lean into the slope yeah. and try and whack it into the slope. The yeah. problem with that is that you don't get the elevation. Yeah. So for me, I, I play I with the slope. I guess you're closing the face, aren't you, a little bit? Yeah. So that's, yeah. Play with the slope, but just know your nine iron just suddenly turned into an eight iron. Right, okay. So with that in mind, I might even go eight iron and, and play it up in the air, because it's probably going to come out more like a nine iron. Yeah, I guess, because you're off. Yeah, you're following them. Yeah. Okay, but the benefit of that is that you can um, control it a bit more. Right. As soon as you start getting into the bank, leaning into the bank, it stops your body rotation. Yeah. So if you play with the bank, you can still turn. When I play shots like this, I always seem to hook them. Why is that? Uh, just because of the uneven lie. So what, take, what takes place? Certainly when the ball's on the line like this, the club yeah. angle will go like this. Okay. And the loft basically starts to aim left. Right. The other big one as well, what a lot of golfers do on a slope, they don't continue to turn the body. Yeah. So on a slope, it feels like your legs stop. Right. So a lot of golfers just use their arms. Okay. And when you just use your arms, you shut the face. Yeah. Where really it's hard, but you've got to still turn your Feel body. like you're going to go into the, yeah. You've got to turn your hips into it still. All that being said, <laughs> <laughs> we'll have a look. That's what you should do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I'm just going to go centre of the green. Cool. It, hopefully, it just draws a little bit, and it this should go up to space. I think the golf shot. The flag's moving a bit, a bit left now. Oh wow. Simmer, 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 Stay simmer. There. Stay there. Nice. Um, nice. Back edge, I think. Nice. Probably sh should have said, don't bother. Get in. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say anything because I like, But that, that was a bit soft. Yeah. <laughs> that was a wet putt. Uh, let, a, let a proper player get a wedge out. Yeah. Like you and me like, with our putters, let a proper player here. Yeah. Little flicky wedge, just Come on. flick it up there over any trouble, get it rolling. He's Wedgy been blinker. Deadly Go with on. this wedge. Oh. Oh, yes, wet. It worked. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Tried, to, tried to get you in your head a little bit there. Not very good. Have we fallen at the final it's hurdle? It's actually better than I thought it was going to be. It's a big putt. This is a long big putt, yeah. Big in stature. It is big in stature. Big in length. Probably just inside yours. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's delightful. It's delightful. Great speed. I wouldn't have minded it a touch oh. closer. I'm not going to lie to you. Oh. But it's a nice speed. Well, where have you got it? I'm pretty much straight. Nah. Bits I'll go the, two bit, inches right. Two inches right. This is going to pile on the pressure if one of these go in. Two inches right. Oh. That was straight. Good. That was straight, mate. This is massive. This is one of the biggest shots on our channel. 
No pressure. <laughs> Big pot. Oh, oh dear. Oh, oh he's never rolled in it down. in. Rick Shields one up, Four. one to play. Form is temporary, oh. class is permanent. <laughs> See you later. Just <laughs>Last hole in our little match. We've just jumped a hole, a couple of holes. This is the 13th par five. Stunning hole this. Yeah. Really nice. Straight down, then there's water left. Yeah. Won't won't intrude on the tee shots, my good. second shots. Yeah. There's bunkers right. You just got if you get a good drive away, it's still not an easy hole. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see you hit driver again. I'd like, I'd like Pete to go first and you go drive. I'm going to try. I'm going to try got, what you said. If you got one, I think you could knock it past me. It's the consistency, though, mate, isn't it? Oh, Jesus. About there, yeah? About there, Rick, yeah? That's yep. a shot. Good, good. perfect, oh, lovely. Yeah, that's Is the technique the same for a free wood? It is. I, honestly, I, I think it's easier for a driver for you. Really? If Pete is a good one, you hit driver. Oh. Whoopa! For right! For right! For right. Is that Not a fairway? It's oh. 18th. <laughs> a little bit of shoulder tilt. And feel like you're hitting up and to the right. A little bit more turn with your shoulders, that's it. And hit up and to the right. Oh, that's a golf What car. a shot. See how that's not drawn, it's not pulled. Oh, that's fine, it's good. No, I yeah. don't think it's well, in the bunker. Well, mate, it was a shot when I think it you're so right. that's, that's what I'm happy with. Hey, oh, oh, wow. oh, my whoa. God. Oh, my that God. Forward, oh, my Pick God. Straight. Oh. oh. Yeah, that'll do me. <laughs> that'll do me, pig. I'd, I'd say I'd do a competitive lesson, mate, but I really I'm not competitive at all. I'm actually quite expensive. <laughs> what a shot. There's... <laughs> yeah. Is there any point in me hitting? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a question for you, Rick. If, you, if you've got Ange for five lessons, what do you think he could get down to? Um, oh, well, after what you've seen today? I would get him hitting it outrageously straighter. Yeah? Yeah, in what, even one lesson, I'd get him hitting it outrageously straight because there's a couple of things that there's a couple of things that's hard to teach. Yeah, ability to strike a golf shot, and just got that. Right, and you have yeah. to strike it. Speed is quite challenging to teach. Yeah, and just got that. Right. Um, short game, chipping and putting confidence, really good with that. Yeah, I'm a bit dodgy about looking at the hole when he puts, but I can I can let him off because it's worked a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I honestly think if he just changed his swing path, trusted that setup with driver, he'd hit a little, I'd, I'd, what he'd probably hit first is a little bit of a draw, maybe yeah. slightly too much, and then we could just narrow it off. Wow. But he, he would, I think he'd, I think he's got the potential to hit it further than me with driver. Yeah. You Hearing good words about yourself here, Ange. Yeah? yeah? I mean, he wouldn't have knocked it past this one, I must admit, this is the longest shot I've ever hit. No, that was absolutely <laughs> murdered. <laughs> No, he would have done. He's got the speed. That min relief of last one. Okay, I've got 180 to the middle. That's kind of where I want to land it. Slightly downwind, so I'm going to hit a seven. If I can land it in the middle and chase it up, I just don't want to go long. It's a nice one of these. Sliding, around. sliding in. Sliding oh, straightened up. Oh, it's a beaut. It's a beaut. Can I though? Gotta be happy with that. Out of 10, what would you have that yourself? Uh, you can't complain. Yeah. Because it's there. I just think I could have done slightly. Obviously, you always think you can do slightly <laughs> there. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, that's, totally. that's, I'm not disappointed. Yeah. But it's, I, I, I would have liked it slightly better. From that range, you know, after a good drive, I'm back edge of the green, just. 
though. Eagle Port. Eagle Dance. Yeah, I probably should. I'm probably being hard on myself, but yeah, I'd probably I mean, say they, seven yeah. out of ten. Decent. Right, Rick. Question we always ask, normally to end on. A massive question. Massive question. Okay. One question, one question only. Well, yeah. yeah, rolling back the years. <laughs> rolling you can have a caddy for the day, dead or alive, excluding the tiger. Who would you have? Mm. From any walk of life. Yeah. Dead or alive. Will Smith. Wow. Yeah. 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 Elaborate. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just fancy learning the dance. The you know. Dance. You know what? And it's mad. Recent. I've always. It sounds ridiculous. This, but I've always has been a big fan of Will Smith. And like, I feel like the way he conducts himself. He's not only obviously funny. Sounds like a like a man crush on him here. But not only like funny, but he's like quite down to earth, quite reasonable. I also like. You know, a lot of his old school music I love. Yeah. Like, I was jamming in the car yesterday to like summer, summertime. Summer, summer, summer time. Like, and yeah. it's classic. And like Two of Us and um, Miami. Yeah. And Millennium. No, Millennium. Millennium. I love that and um, what's the other one? The um, Getting Jiggy With It. Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. Like, it's just, nah, nah, it's just nah, nah, nah. So you think that side of him, then think of the films he's been in. Yeah. Like, how good is he in films as well? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, I'm like you. Like, I wasn't so expecting it, but now you've explained it. I'm like, yeah, do you know what? Yeah. He's so good One in films. One of my favourite films, Hitch. Hitch, amazing. I like I'm Legend. Hitch, amazing. Yeah, Ali, um, no, yeah. the Men in Black ones. Yeah. He's got comedy, he's got serious. Oh, what's what's the that where happiness he, one? Yeah. The one where he uh, gets people together. Yeah, I'm Legend. That's, that's Hitch. That's Hitch. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, I love that. Like, I am Legend. Like, the list got like... And I, and I just like Does he play? how he, he plays golf. Does he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's got, he, he actually um, has a YouTube channel. And I also quite like the fact he's into social media. Yeah, yeah. But I love that as well. Like, when not he came many. out the other day with his big belly. Yeah. And he was like, this is me now. This is the fastest I've ever been. I don't care. And I was get, like, good lad. You get ripped like this, yeah. Now, won't you? Yeah, I mean, I can relate to him, so yeah. that's perfect. Yeah. So would he be your, one of your dream guests as well to go? Yeah, on? yeah. Just, you know, I, I think. I'm sure there's, I'll walk away from this and think, oh, why didn't I say that person? Or why didn't I say that person? I must admit, as a rounded individual, a great he is literally. Great like, I loved him in Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Yeah, yeah. Like all that. So, yeah. That's, I think, it's our sort of upbringing, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah it was, wasn't it? And like I say, we'd probably say that to younger, like Matt and Harry who are here in the 20s. Yeah. They probably don't, don't really fully respect yeah. his incredibleness. <laughs> but, yeah. No, he's a le- I think he's a legend, and I think uh, that would be. A dream one. I didn't expect it to answer it that quick, but yeah, I like right it. Right. There. there you go. Will Bruce Smith. Once Will Smith. Right, Bruce. See, this basically needs to go in. Pretty much. Yeah, I think it's a, an easy two part. Rick. That'll work. Go on. I'll take that. It's not. It's not a gimme. Granted. It's definitely not a gimme. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew's chips amazing all day. Oh, 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 that oh, tidy. Oh, there oh, nice. oh, it is. Nice. It's all right. Well done. It's all right. Well done. It was pin high. I thought it, thought it was a little bit longer. Okay, free goal to close out the match. Have you got this hole before? Yes. Okay. I have. And I'll do it again with Will Smith on the bag. <laughs> what would he tell me? They say, get jiggy with it. <laughs> oh, that's it. Come on, come on, get please, in. please. Get in, oh, please. Rick. Oh, pick that up. That pick is it up. Or should I knock it in for a legit birdie? It's got to be a legit it, birdie. You can do what you it's want, but it's a legit bit. birdie. It's a gimme. Look at me now, I'm getting well into it. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like I'm laying birdies in the middle. <laughs> Mother right, birdie. birdie. Right, so we need to. Uh, we need right, this. We need, we need this for no reason just, whatsoever. Yeah, just a birdie just, dance. Just have a dance. Yeah. Just to have a dance. I'll have a go as well. I'll be your third brother. <laughs> Mr. Rick Shields. What has it become? <laughs> I just stopped Thank for a minute. Thank you so what much, mate. Happened? Thank you so much. No worries. Really, nice. really so. appreciate you doing it. For I think us. what you guys do is awesome. I love the long form kind of. I end up watching and going, I'm not sure if I watch this all, but I end up watching it all because I think the guests you have on, your personalities, the way you interview people is really good. The energy you two have, it's class. And Thank I think you, that 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 area as we mentioned before in YouTube as you are plugging a really important gap and keep it up. I'm excited to see who you have on next. Thank you. And I best keep 
an eye on you just in case you start sweeping up and getting a million subscribers. Yeah, there's a long way off there. We'll have your coattails, don't worry about that. We'll, we'll carry on. <laughs> but to help us get there, please like and subscribe. And if you haven't seen it, get over to Rick's channel. It is double, double decent. Rick, thank you so much, mate. We're going to go and jump on my channel That's now it. and have a little match as well. Get over yeah. to Rick's channel. Legends. To watch us go again. See you soon.